R L T M for M tiny packages. We're three days into rehearsal for Raleigh Little Theater's production of Willie B. Shakespeare's Measure for Measure, and we finally read through the script. Finally! What did we do for six plus hours of pre-game, pre-season preparation? Oh, wondrous things. There was minutia, of course. Nuts and bolts forms to fill out. Talk about director Rebecca Blum's vision for the production. Ice-breaking games, focusing exercises, exercises in clowning, something at which I'm a natural in both the vernacular and the narrowly defined living in the moment, needing affirmation, all in emotionally childish sense, exercises for milling about in a crowded city square, and exercises to encapsulate, crystallize, and portray microcosmic, ultra-cosmic aspect of measure's essence. So yeah, we've been busy. Way back on day one, we began with that nuttiest of bolts getting measured for measure for measure. I stood in line behind Rosemary Richards, a teeny tiny young woman. Director Blum has cast children in this dark comedy, this show about power, lust, damnation, and fornication. There's license, there's prostitutes, drinking, forced sex, abandonment, and a near constant drum beat, beat, beat of the ubiquitousness of sex-based inequality. Kids! Blum has kids in this show! Genius. Edge of sword genius. Rosemary is smaller as an adult than I was as a 10-year-old child, and she stands before me in tights and a clingy long sleeve tee that shows just how small she is. I look at her and think, this woman can't be more than 5 feet tall and 85 pounds. She's so petite that I almost ask her if my assessment of her height and weight is correct, but I self-edit and bite my tongue. Too soon to fly my crazy as a loon flag. I'll wait for a more opportune moment to make my impertinent inquiry. Fast forward from day one, minute one, to day three, minute 33, and teeny tiny Rosemary, along with age mate Karen Morgan Williams and I are engaged in the aforementioned exercises to encapsulate, crystallize, and portray microcosmic, ultracosmic aspects of measure's essence. When I say to Rosemary, Forgive this impertinent question, but how tall are you? Five feet nothing? Rosemary kindly smiles at me, shakes her head, and standing to the fullest extent of her towering height, informs that she is a full 3.333% higher than my estimation, and it stands at five feet two, a height one foot shorter than my own. Okay, says I, then that means I need to up my original assessment of your massiveness. So what do you weigh? 95 pounds? Yes, she acknowledges with another bright smile. Cool, says I, adding my oft-told lie that I once guessed age, height, and weight as a carny. The exercise that Rosemary Carey and I share opens my eyes about the torment of Rosemary's character, Isabella, in relation to my mostly benign character, Friar Peter. We do a line-free, voiceless presentation of Isabella's torture, and at the end I literally fall to my knees and tears fill my eyes. This Shakespeare dude's really got it going on. I have a strong protection instinct. Though a coward by nature, if I see someone being bullied, I cast aside my no-drama persona, passive-aggressive self, and become aggressive-aggressive. This is especially true with smaller people and soon becomes pertinent. Finished with our exercises, we begin our script read-through. Some cast members will be arriving late, and Director Blum asked me to fill in for Wade Newhouse's Angelo. My mouth twitches in irony. I lusted to play it, portray Angelo, and I respond with a hearty, you bet. I am a fair actor, but I excel at oral reading. Rosemary is doing a dynamite job of bringing our read through to life as are Laura J. Parker's elbow and Benjamin Tarleton as Lucia. There is little in the world that stokes my old man fires in having an opportunity to play, and I do my damnedest to measure up to the actor's initial presentation of measure. All is well until things get heated, sexually heated, rapey heated. Friar Peter, me, is not rapey, and I have just interacted with Isabella, Rosemary, in a very Friar Peter exercise, and now I am portraying Angelo, her absolute nemesis and would-be rapist. Holy Batman, Adam West, what have I done? My suspension of disbelief had been humming along, and then the rug is pulled out from underneath my feet, and I tumble. My heart is broken, my eyes tear-filled as I, Angelo, assault dear little Isabella, the woman I, Friar Peter, has formed a fatherly affection and protectionist bond with. 
Can you say Sybil Shepherd? I'm her mother. I'm her sister. Whoa and whoa. What a heartstring plucking, perfect casting job Rebecca Blum has done with a selection of Rosemary Richards as Isabella. Theater. It is wondrous. More later.